Hello everyone and welcome back to Destiny. It is yet again Friday and of course that means it's time for Xur. He is of course following the Flashpoint as usual over on Titan. So let's take a look at what he has to offer this week and what I get out of my faded engram. Let's jump into it. make your way over to his usual hiding spot in the rig and we can take a look at what he has to offer this week all right so first up we have the sweet business this is an excellent auto rifle and i highly recommend picking it up if you don't have it already of course the major perk with this is payday larger magazine increased accuracy when firing from the hip and then it has an exotic trait of business time holding down the trigger boosts this weapon's range and rate of fire and automatically loads ammo pickups into the magazine very useful and with the rate of fire it is the titan's best friend especially when with a rally barricade or with the actium war rig so definitely pick this up also, if you're interested, Tess is actually selling the exotic ornament for this as well, so you can go ahead and class it up quite a bit. Moving on for the armor piece for the Titan, we have the Dune Marchers, which is one of my favorite exotics for the Titan. It increases your sprint speed, and then sprinting builds up a static charge. After melee attacking an enemy, that charge will chain damage to nearby enemies. Very useful and very cool indeed. Next up we have Skull of Dire Ahamkara, another Destiny 1 exotic with brand new perks. It provides additional damage resistance during Nova Bomb, and Nova Bomb kills Grant Super Energy. So a combination of a couple of the exotics from Destiny 1 with some new twists can definitely be very useful, but honestly probably have some better choices already. But moving on to the Hunter, we have the return of the Graviton Forfeit from Destiny 1, and the exotic perk is Vanishing Shadow. Increases the duration of any invisibility effects, and your melee recharges faster while you are invisible. Not terrible perks, very situational, but there are still a lot of exotics that I would rather have. Now moving on to the Faded Engram for this week, we go over to my Hunter, who is missing a couple exotics. And this is the only character left with some missing exotics. I'm still missing the Dragon Shadow and the Mechaneer's Trick Sleeves, so let's see which one I get this week. Let's go ahead and open up that Engram. And we have the Dragon's Shadow. Very nice. I'm not a big fan of the Mechaneer's Trick Sleeves, so I'm glad that I got this one. Having said that, I'm probably not going to be using it a whole lot with things like the Gemini Jester or the Orpheus Rig. There's just much more effective exotics out there for the Hunter. Anyways, that brings us to the end of the Xur video. Later today, I'm going to be posting a video going over all of the news that we got yesterday and this week at Bungie. There's definitely a lot to go over. I had some very unfortunate PC issues over the past couple days, but all of those are now resolved and we're back in action. So you can finally expect that video a little bit later today. Anyways, let me know in the comments below what you got from your faded engram. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more Destiny content. And I will see you all next time.